head on with Jeff Gregory and the pass headed off to the left right from the very beginning. You can see the butterflies close fairly early. That means they're out of power. They've shut the power off. The first parachute tears off the back. The second one finally deploys, but 242 miles an hour, they're going to run out of room in a hurry. You could also hear the engine rev up right at the very end when the capsule comes out. It certainly could have ripped the throttle forward on that as well. He might have hit it with his foot during a hard impact. More importantly, we talked about this before, Alan. You just cannot steer these boats. Even though we saw that huge rudder in the opening of this show, as you watch it here, right at the very end, of course, he had a little more water if he could have kept it to the right. But these things are very difficult to steer, even with that huge rudder in the back. In fact, it's not uncommon for these boats at speed, once you try to turn them, to rip that rudder off. A violent impact coming up, and I'm not sure it would have been better if he had gone the other way, Ken. At least this way, gets into the fence, lands directly in front of the Lucas Oil Safety crew. They were able to grab the capsule, get him on the boat as quickly as possible. You and I both watch a lot of different forms of racing. And any race vehicle in the world is designed with one thing in my record. It's protect your driver in the event of a mishap. And as they're loading Jeff Gregory in the helicopter, let's check in with Terry Boyd, who has more.